on. Got him. Got him. Got him. Another one. Another one. So I'm walking to the spot I'm gonna be fishing and it looks like there's already quite a few other people here. Hoping those people brought like kayaks and whatnot and they're actually out on the river. Cause there's not many fishing spots where all these cars are parked. So, so hopefully making the walk all the way to this place was uh, worth it. So, I've made it to the first spot I'm gonna be fishing today on the Merrimack River. And as I got closer to the spot I was gonna fish, like five or six cars just drove off. I didn't think I was that ugly. So the past few times that I've been out fishing, I haven't caught anything. That is slightly due to the fact that the past three places I've gone to, all the smallmouth and largemouth have been on beds and I personally don't fish for bass on beds so I didn't end up catching anything those three days. Today I just wanted to feel the tug of a fish at the end of my line. This spot actually is like five minutes away from my house walking. If I wanted to drive it would it, it would take like 30 seconds. Actually one of my favorite lures of all time is a blue fox inline spinner. And the size that I use for bass and whatnot is a size 4. But today I literally just want to get a bite. So I'm using a size 1, all silver. I just want to hook into a couple fish. I've actually brought my whole mini inline spinner collection for trout, panfish and whatnot. I got four colors in here. Silver, kind of pink, purple, glitter, gold, and then blue. And then I got some other ones here that I haven't opened yet. Silver Vibrex is already tied on. I'm gonna start off with silver. Actually, before I even started fishing, I see a ton of fish underneath this tree. There's a largemouth bluegill. There's a crappie underneath here. Let's see if I can get some cool underwater footage. Now I got this little size one Vibrex tied to six pound line. And then I have that tied to a five foot ultralight Fluger Tryon. Oh, get up here. <laughs> First fish, that was quick. A big bluegill. This actually, this bluegill pulled out drag. I don't know if you guys heard that, but man. <laughs> that was cool for the first fish today. Little bluegill. Get out of here. Not gonna lie, that fish was tiny, but it does feel good hooking into a fish. And it pulled a little bit of drag on my six pound line. But I can catch rock bass, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, yellow perch, all three trout in my area, brook trout, rainbow trout, and brown trout. I can catch all the sunfish species here as well. 
And I can catch chain pickerel. I can catch fall fish, carp, catfish. Wow. Bunch of little fish. Got him. Uh, this is the fall fish I was talking about earlier. These can grow up to a couple pounds. Oh, it pooped on me. It, it ate seeds? The heck? Got him. Oh, I saw that. That was cool. Oh, a big bluegill too. Ow. Ow. All right. Maybe with the smaller lure, a little bit of pink flash, I'll uh, be able to hook into some more fish. Got one, yellow perch. It literally didn't fight the entire way in, so I didn't realize I had it. <laughs> Nothing but dead weight. Third species today. Little yellow perch. Just got done fishing the last spot at this park. So what I think I'm gonna do is switch my lures up again. But this time I think I'm gonna go for the biggest size I brought, which is a size two with a red blade and blue body. Why I'm gonna switch to this I think is one, I'm gonna be able to cast this size two a lot further than the size zero I was using, which is potentially gonna lead to more fish. And plus two, maybe with this bigger size, I can attract a bigger fish, right? That's the idea. Another nice thing about using this bigger size Vibrax is I actually don't have to reel as fast to keep the blade spinning. So hopefully that'll help me out a little bit. On, on. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Switched up to the bigger size, got the bigger bite. I think it's a big rock bass. And it's a big bluegill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is a jumbo bluegill. You know it's a jumbo bluegill when you can lip him like this. Oh, and my GoPro just died. Perfect timing. Just 
like what I was talking about before, I'm pretty sure that long cast helped me get that bluegill. I'm at the same exact spot I was before with the silver and pink and didn't get bit, but another one, another one, another one. It's a bass. It's a bass. I got to get him over this lip. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is a nice bass. Well, for what I'm fishing. That's what I'm talking about. A little largemouth bass? Are you kidding me? I am so glad I decided to switch up and come back. Got him. Smallmouth, please be a smallmouth. Nope, oh, just another giant bluegill. Just another giant bluegill that I can lip. This one is a female. Not as, the female bluegill actually are slightly less colorful than the male. The male will have a really pronounced like red, orange breast. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Dang. That might be all she wrote, folks. Got him. Smallmouth, please be a uh, perch. I just want a small mouth. So that is it for today guys and it definitely felt good to hook into a few fish after not hooking into any the past three previous times. And it was also pretty sweet to hook into that large mouth and those few big bluegill. But everything I caught today came on an inline spinner from Blue Fox. It's one of my favorite little creek fishing finesse baits. And then I have a five foot ultralight Fluger try-on reel, or combo, I should say rod and reel combo. It was $60, I believe at Bass Pro Shops. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.